first reading a reading from the first letter of st paul to corinthians chapter 1 verses 26 to 31 consider your own call brothers and sisters not many of you were wise by human standards not many were powerful not many were of noble birth but god chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise god chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong god chose what is low and despised in the world things that are not to reduce to nothing things that are so that no one might boast in the presence of god he is the source of your life in christ jesus who became for us wisdom from god and righteousness and sanctification and redemption in order that as it is written let the one who boasts boast in the lord the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew for it is as if a man going on a journey summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them to one he gave 5 talents to another 2 to another 1 to each according to his ability then he went away the one who had received the 5 talents went off at once and traded with them and made 5 more talents in the same way the one who had the 2 talents made 2 more talents for the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money after a long time the master of those slaves came and settled accounts with them then the one who had received the five talents came forward bringing five more talents saying master you handed over to me five talents see i have made five more talents His master said to him, "Well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master." And the one with the two talents also came forward, saying, "Master, you handed over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents." His master said to him, "Well done, good and trustworthy slave." you have been trustworthy in a few things i will put you in charge of many things enter into the joy of your master then the one who had received the one talent also came forward saying master i knew that you were a harsh man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed so i was afraid and i went and hid your talent in the ground here you have what is yours but his master replied you wicked and lazy slave you knew did you that i reap where i did not sow and gather where i did not scatter then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers and on my return i would have received what was my own with interest so take the talent from him and give it to the one with the, the ten talents for to all those who have more will be given and they will have an abundance but from those who have nothing even what they have will be taken away as for this worthless slave throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth the saving gospel of the lord most of the time we complain on what we have been given saying it's not enough looking at someone thinking that he has been given more we are measuring what i have been given and what the other have given but we do not ever measure the things that i have been given and the things i have been gained with the things i had passed we never measure it because we are always looking around myself 
looking at the others around who are who who are been working in their lives with what way they what they have been given with today we hear the parable of the talents where three people were given three measures of money by the master before he leaves one was received by 5000 one was received by 2000 one received 1000 1000 we are the upper two who received 5 and 2000 respectively they worked hard with what they have been given one who received 2000 never complained of giving 5000 to the other but giving only 2000 to me whereas he worked with what he was given and he multiplied it but the one who was given 1000 he never worked with it he just kept it aside at times it is not given in the parable but at times he may have thinking the other two gave more than me so why do i work for this unless i i would be given more that is what we are thinking unless i would be given more i will not do this that is our condition that is our condition but we never think that even what i have been given there are so many who have not received even even the minimum even the minimum of what i have been received today the lord is very very ardently inviting us first be satisfied with what you have been given second use it and multiply it that's what the lord wants you to do not to be nagging around and going around with long faces that i have been given the minimum i have been given not what others have been given it is injustice first you do work with what you have received show it to the lord that i am such a person with such a caliber i can multiply it i can work hard then what then when the lord sees what you do he will grant you graces he will be giving you what you deserve therefore let us not be looking at what i deserve but let us be working with what i have been given then the lord will grant you the real gift that he has kept for you let us pray for that grace father whatever today i am been enjoying whatever today i have been working with our gifts solely given by you alone it is not what i have got or gained by my own self primarily at my foundation it is you who granted me but dear lord at times i have been grumbling around with you even with the amount with the measure only focusing on that give me the grace dear lord today not only focus on the measure or the amount but to focus upon what i can do with what i have received and to please you and to make you happy so one day making you happy with what you have given me and showing you how much i can do surely i'll be receiving the deepest and the largest love of yours in my life and i'll be surely granting the graces abundant graces with you by you give me that grace today and allow me and help me to live to that to see always what i have and to and to see always what i can i what can i do with what i have we make this prayer through christ our lord amen